Ciao besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Viviana and if I pass out during this video, don't worry, it's just extremely hot in here. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about something that over the years has become extremely important for many, many business and business owners. And honestly, any creator who relies on social media. I am talking about social media templates. In this video, we're gonna cover everything, what they are, why they matter, and most importantly, how do you edit them once they're done? So this video really is for everyone. If you're a designer, who's wondering how to make them or if you're a business owner who's wondering what to do with them once you get the templates. So first of all I'm gonna show you how I make them on Adobe Illustrator and then we're gonna move on to other places to show you how to edit them. I offer my clients two different options when it comes to editing templates but we're gonna talk about that later. First of all let's talk about why they are so important and why do you need them as a business. Nowadays many many businesses rely on social media and sometimes an Instagram page could be just as important as a website. So it's important that the branding stays consistent also on social media. This of course doesn't apply to all social media because we know that TikTok for example doesn't really care about the feed but Instagram does. If you're a business that sells their products only on social media this is like essential. If your social media are not curated then you don't really have anything else to attract clients. I know that it may seem scary or too much especially if you're not a designer but just having a cohesive color palette and font choice can make your feed consistent consistent and on brand. So yeah, today we're gonna have a bit of fun and I'm gonna show you how to incorporate every single aspect of the branding, not just the logos, in your templates. I'm gonna take you with me on Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna show you how I personally make them. There are so many ways to do them, this is just the way that I do it, so feel free to take inspiration if you want to. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use a brand that I've actually designed on this channel in a previous video. And if you remember, I mentioned that I really wanted to make some social media templates for it because I made some cute little stickers that would be awesome for this so if you haven't watched the video you can check it out here but if you already watched it you might remember that i'm talking about the basic beach. Now here we are on Adobe Illustrator and I have prepared everything that I'm gonna be needing for this template. So the colors, the logos with the stickers and the typography. We're gonna create some templates for posts and then for stories. When you're making an Instagram square post the suggested size for this is 1080 by 1080 pixels but when it comes to stories it's 1080 by 1920 pixels. So always keep in mind these measurements. So for the posts I want to do a announcement post. I want to do a client review because it's something that is really common in many many businesses and then I think that I'm just gonna do like a watermark kind of thing because in my head this brand is like really photography based like many pictures of the beach the sand the products so I think that these two posts and the watermark are gonna be just enough but of course this changes from business to business let's start with this one I'm gonna take this cream background and usually when I make the shape I make sure that it's a little bigger than the actual artboard because sometimes you might like have some little like white lines there are very annoying. So let's grab our fonts and I'm gonna write new arrival. If you remember what I did with the mockups for this branding, I want to create some sort of wave using our logo mark, so our beautiful B. I don't want it to be too much like on the post because of course the main thing will be the text. And I want to make sure that the text is like really highlighted, so I'm gonna use the offset path tool to kind of do that. Okay, so once we have done that and we are happy with our placement, let's add a little something to this because of course this is looking a little bit plain and we don't really want that. So let's take our font and write something like coming this Friday or maybe coming soon. And then of course we're gonna bring in our beautiful stickers that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Yeah, I mean, let's see how we can decorate this. I love the idea of these looking like actual stickers. We're gonna use them like this like actually sticking them on the wave. I think this is so adorable. It looks so cute, oh my god. And this is pretty much it. I mean, I don't want them to look like too complicated, like too much. I think also that templates are very good to kind of give an idea of what can be done in the future by our clients. So if I give them this structure, they will know that this works so they can write literally anything they want. And of course, it doesn't have to be necessarily with an offset path. Just an idea of how it could look. 
and um, yeah I mean I love this so now let's move on to the second one the second one as I mentioned is gonna be a template for a client review when it comes to reviews there's a lot of text so you have to make sure that it's very easy to read so I'm gonna create like a box where the text is gonna be and uh, we're gonna round up the edges and of course I want to write what we're talking about so I had an idea of putting this on the background kind of and uh, not necessarily too visible something like this oh yeah i love this oh my god it looks so cute also this is very fun because you can literally do this with any color combo so now let's add the text and for this one we're actually going to create a text box we're not using actual text for now this is where you're going to give to your clients so they have to fill it in every time we're going to do the same thing here i'm still going to use this font and i'm going to write the client name can i type so this is the main base for what we're gonna do but of course again our stickers are gonna be added because this looks so cute i don't want this to be too overwhelming because we have a lot of text on the background and on the review so just two stickers will work just fine i think this is so cute so easy to use and edit and i think that this can work also with other colors so i will do just that and i will see you when i'm done The next one as i said is going to be very simple so we're just going to add a picture and then use our beautiful logo mark as a watermark i chose this picture here because it kind of has our brand colors the only thing that i'm going to be doing is literally take this and put it here in the corner these are the final three templates that we have created for this brand i think that they look amazing and they can be used in so many things in so many ways and actually later i'm going to show you how they're going to look like in a feed so let's move on to the stories now in my opinion the story are way more simple when it comes to actually making the template because I never give my clients some templates that they can edit when it comes to stories because I feel like stories are just backgrounds that you put you don't really have to put any text on it and if you do I suggest to add the text on Instagram I feel like it is more engaging for the people who watch your stories and it's more immediate you don't really have to go on your computer and write everything every time you want to post a story you know so these are just backgrounds that I do and yeah you can really have fun with them and change all the colors and everything so let's do that the first template that I want to do is for a background with all the stickers so when you do stories you of course have to remember that text goes in the middle or in a picture so you really have to leave like a little bit of room for whatever is gonna be in the story so let's take our stickers and uh, let's start having fun with them you don't really have to see them it's almost like they were cut out of the frame but that's what makes this kind of style so cool in my opinion like imagine something like literally anything over this beautiful background and uh, I don't know it's so fun this is exactly what I was picturing when I said that I wanted to use these stickers for social media templates let's move to the other one and these two are gonna be a little bit more simple so if you remember my other video I basically used the logo mark as some sort of way to create a pattern because if you look at it it kind of looks like waves I really want to use this in this template right here so what I'm doing is basically taking the logo mark and expanding it all throughout the artboard and I want to just go over the edges just a little bit if you look at it you know that it's the logo mark but it's creating these waves that are so beautiful and i think again this would look amazing as a background and then we move on to the last one this one is gonna be a little different but i love this concept we're gonna copy our logo mark and we're basically gonna do exactly what we did with the post template but we are not gonna use any background so when you save this this is gonna be transparent so you can literally put this on your stories like on your video stories the background is gonna be completely transparent but there's gonna be this beautiful wave created thanks to the logo mark it's a way to brand even the stories where you know you're talking to your audience this is very fun again in my opinion the templates for the stories should be very simple because we don't want to drive the attention away from what is actually being said in the story once we have done this 
How do we save everything? Well, Illustrator gives us an amazing tool that lets us save every single element on its own. And I'm gonna show you how. It's very quick, very simple. First of all, make sure that everything is ungrouped. And once you do that, you open this window and basically you drag everything that you wanna export on this window here. We don't want to export the background because we're gonna add that in the template. And also we don't need to export this writing here twice. And uh, same thing for the text and for the name, we're gonna write that because these parts are gonna be the parts that the client is gonna edit themselves. So we don't really need them as images. These are the only things that we are gonna need. So once you have everything that you need, you just take this and drag this here. Now you have everything here separately and you can just save them as PNGs and you're done. So once we are done with that, we are all set to start making these templates editable. If you're a business owner who has just started their business, I understand that getting into social media and creating templates can be overwhelming, especially if you don't have any design background. Luckily, there are so many amazing services like Canva, for example, to create some cool social media posts for your business. But, and there has to be a but obviously, Canva is a little Little bit tricky in my opinion because there are so many templates but they are free for everyone to use so if you use them for your business that doesn't mean that somebody else can use them too so if you still want to use canva i personally suggest to all my clients to get a subscription to canva pro because that way you can really like customize everything and make everything branded and related to your business only i think that this is something that it's worth investing in for your business and actually i happen to have a link for that if you want to check out canva pro for a 30 days free trial you can click the first link in my description if you do that you will also support me and my channel so thank you so much if you do it now there are two ways that you can do this and you can really let your client choose based on what they like the most you could either recreate the entire template on canva pro and then send the shareable link to your client and then they can edit them and do whatever they want with it or you could send them the adobe illustrator file and they can open that on adobe xd and the template is gonna be there ready to be editable. You don't really have to do anything else. I'm so sorry Canva lovers, but this is an Adobe XD stand account. Okay, enough with the talking, let's go and edit some templates. Let's start with Canva. As you can see here, I basically just recreated the first post by doing exactly what I did on Adobe Illustrator, just bringing in the elements. But now let's create the client review page. So everything that you need to do is literally drag all the elements that you're gonna upload on the software, and then just do exactly what I did. You will Will give this link to your client so this is not something that the client needs to do you're just preparing the templates so that they look exactly how you design them now the only thing to do is literally add in the text use the same font and color so the client knows that that is the text that they need to edit and here we have it it looks exactly like the one that we have just designed your client will know exactly what to do once they get this once you do that all you need to do is literally just share the link and your client is all good to go but as i mentioned earlier there is an even easier way Way to transfer your templates from Adobe Illustrator to your client to make them editable. And this is Adobe XD. This is amazing and I truly didn't even know that until very recently. So basically, if you give your client an Adobe Illustrator file, they will be able to open it on Adobe XD even if they don't have Adobe Illustrator. And the file is gonna look exactly like the Adobe Illustrator one. Let me show you. As you're seeing, it's the same. You can find also the elements outside of the artboard. So it's really what you've been doing on Adobe Illustrator and you don't need to recreate anything. It's just gonna show up like this and your client is gonna be able to edit every single thing, like the colors, the fonts, it's all there. This allows for a little bit of more creative freedom. Honestly, don't even think that it's too hard. It basically works just like Canva. It's a decision that I leave to my clients. This depends on what you do with your business, how you use these templates and what do you need specifically. So you have recreated the templates, you are ready to send them to your clients. But this is not it. One amazing and cool thing to do when you're sending over templates to your clients is also showing them how they can really work in real life. And obviously, once again, we are gonna use mockups for this. There are so many amazing mockups that show you how your stories, your feed, and your profile will look like using those templates that you have just created. That is gonna be so helpful for the client because they're actually gonna see how to use the templates and how it's gonna look. And trust me, this is gonna make your client even more excited about having those templates. And also don't forget to actually give them instruction on how to edit the template because you know, it might not be that easy, especially if they're not that tech savvy or experienced with design, which they probably aren't. So yeah, we're done. Let's take a look at the templates that we have created today and see how the basic beach Instagram page would look like if it was a real business. So 
if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and let me know in the comments what you think about these templates. How do you feel about templates? Do you like making them? And what software do you use, Canva or Adobe XD? Let me know because I'm actually like really curious about this. If you like this video and you would love to see more content like this, you can subscribe to the channel first of all, and I would be very grateful if you did that. But you can also binge watch all my design videos in my playlist called Design With Me. You can also follow me on all my social media, especially Instagram. If you have made it to this part of the video, let's comment the C emoji, the waves. I love that emoji, it's so cute. Okay, we're done. I'm too hot. I need to turn on my fan like right now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in another video next week. Ciao!